resort at Pelicaneal in Newport Beach. It's an amazing property. I have to say, it's a very particular product, hotel-wise, and then restaurant-wise also, we're going to discuss that. It's this amazing property with villas and bungalows, no hotel structure, uh, the largest round swimming pool in the world, believe it or not, covered with over a million tiles of mosaic. This water, seawater, this is, this is insane. And I just had the dinner at the restaurant, the signature restaurant of the hotel, which is, even though it's a top, top of the line hotel, you are on purpose not doing a top fine dining restaurant. You want to give it a casual feeling, even though it's a, you know, gorgeous restaurant with orchids everywhere and palm trees and gorgeous booths so you can have, you can sit there and relax. Casual elegance. You're, yeah, casual elegance. So you... Jean-Pierre Dubray, you're the executive chef of the hotel, and so you're in charge of the, all the different restaurants, and uh, Lucas said, uh, you're Italian, and you're in charge of Andra restaurant, where we just had dinner, uh, and tell us about the food a little. The food in Andrea is a northern Italian food, so uh, we try to reflect a little bit of the tradition that we have in the northern part of Italy. And during the summertime we moved slightly to the south because uh, of, uh, of the product that we are using over here. Uh, but overall we're trying to, to, to represent a little bit the Italian traditions. Yes. So Italian tradition, we have to have a pizza. Yes. We start with a pizza. Yes. Um, the white pizza, prosciutto, truffles, mozzarella, uh, and then we uh, add some appetizers, uh, tuna tartare, I tuna, yes, and scallop, very perfectly seared, and with corn, that was really nice. And then, there's this whole thing about the hotel here and the restaurant, there's a pasta room, where you only make pasta, temperature is 68 degrees, so the pasta dries properly with the right, you know, temperature, and then you... You have, you have the machine, and every day you make you make pasta. Every day. So then we had every a pasta day. degustation menu, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Went on and on. So we started. Help me with the. Uh, there's we so start. many pasta dishes. You're gonna have to help me on that one. So we start with the ravioli, with the spinach and uh, and ricotta ravioli. Uh, we the one we made in the afternoon the with one, you. The, we the we, we made, washed you we in made, the afternoon. We made just a sample in the afternoon. Uh, we made the garganelli with bolognese sauce that we made in the after together. Exactly. Yes. And after we went with uh, the risotto with porcini mushroom. The risotto, this, it's, it's not a risotto, it's the risotto because you do it table side. Yes, you come do. with a whole wheel of Parmesan cheese and then you finish it up table side with mixing uh, the ingredients in, in the Parmesan cheese wheel, right? Give a great flavor of Parmesan. It does. It, 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 it was very good. After we made the rigatoni. Mm -hmm. And the last one was the trophy with the lamb ragu. Yeah. I like so, that one. So we made like five five pastas just to represent a little bit of restaurant also. And are the the dishes that we sell more in the restaurant. And uh, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's a good reflection of Italian tradition. Yes. And we're not done after the pasta. We had the sibas. With the sibas. Yes, we're making with, uh, with a little bit of giardiniera sauce. So jardiniera is a, a pickled vegetable usually that uh, how the uh, family is making during the summertime, keeping for the winter. Uh, we made uh, a little bit of tasting of the osobuco. Yeah, we Italian had. restaurant I had yes. yeah, osobuco. And we had uh, the lamb with uh, the lamb rack. Yes. And then I heard this afternoon that you, because we tour the property in the afternoon, you uh, like to use as much as you can local produce. Yes. Like you know, there's something with the strawberry, the Arvin, uh, Arvin Farm strawberries that you use for your gelato. You have a gelato bar with uh, incredible ice creams. And also, on property, you grow olive trees. And then you do use the olive to make olive oil that you use in the, ki in the kitchen, right? Exactly. Yes. And this year, in November, end of October, we're going we're gonna, to uh, press probably... That's going to be our second harvest. Right. That uh, we will be doing uh, October 28th and 29th. Uh, we started last year for the first time. We did 20 gallons of our own olive oil. 
and uh, this year we will be expanding that to uh, other type of entertainment during that weekend as well. Uh, but olive oil making will be uh, something that uh, we're going to continue to do because we have 750 olive trees here on property. Yeah, the property is 500 acres. Um, 400 of uh, the 500s are for two golf courses, so there is room for growing a lot of uh, trees and vegetable trees. and uh, and then dessert. We're not done. A tiramisu, of course. With and coffee gelato. ice cream and gelato. I, I I tried some in the afternoon. I had to have some again tonight because they're really good. Wonderful. And then the wine. You have a very beautiful wine cellar display as you enter the restaurant, with a lot of uh, Italian wines. About seventy percent of uh, the wine list of Andrea is uh, uh, Italian wine, and the thirty percent are mostly California wine, few French wine. Few French. I saw that. French yeah. wine. Well, thank you, chefs, and then, then, you know, thank you for this beautiful dinner, and congratulations. And thank you. Thank, thank you for coming. I'm honored to have you tonight with us.